Namaste, Mitron. Welcome back to Movie Community College. Maranam Tishhe, the Warrior Queen. Welcome if you are new here. And a lot of you are new here. Who is calling the house? Stall for hopefully, time. Hopefully. No, hopefully. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's not a Nomo Robo. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Just I don't. Don't answer it. Who is calling the house? I, Tell them, Mark. I don't know. Anyways. So here we go. We got a video here. It is, is Joe Biden going to be good for India or not? Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, dude. Are you ready? Classic Joe. Yeah, I'm ready. He's so, oh, he's so creepy. Oh my gosh. 50 Shades of Joe Biden, it said. Yeah, he's so gross. Sometimes I think President Trump there's Whatever. a tragedy in two acts. The first tragedy oh, gosh. opposes every day the core values and beliefs of our nation. I don't count drunk and driving as a felon. Oh, the way he talks to people. How old are you? Uh, 28. 28. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. 26. 26. Joe doesn't know. The way he characterizes. He doesn't know. Poor what's kids happening. are just as bright Bless and just as talented as white kids. I mean, he calls them a pencil neck. I watched that as well. What in the hell is happening? Says you. Our children are listening. And the no, kids used to come do. up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. So obsessed with the past. Inflames our nation's oldest wounds. Racism. Hate. You got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for oh, me or Trump, so then you ain't black. You better wake up. To the president looking to settle personal scores, to the president blacked in the past and drugged. Oh, God help us. He served in public life for around half a century. He's trying to cast himself as a seasoned man in these uncertain times. He says he can build on the Obama legacy and unite America. And he's the favorite to become the president based on current trends. But does Lose Joe Biden big. really have what it takes to beat Donald Trump? And what does he bring for India? Does India stand to lose or gain if he wins the White House? In the next few minutes, we'll try to understand. I'll start with the opinion polls. Joe Biden has reason to smile. He has a double-digit advantage in numerous national surveys, yep. solid leads exactly. in a number of battleground states, competitive figures in states that are considered Trump strongholds. But you cannot really put much faith in opinion polls. They said the exact same thing four years back about Hillary Clinton. The result <laughs> <laughs> What does Joe Biden bring to the table besides the fact that he is not Donald Trump? No. Not very much. He's not young. He's not very different. He doesn't really fire up people at rallies. He's not a major policy innovator. He is not a particularly great orator either. The only thing in Biden's favor right now is how catastrophic the Trump presidency has been. How it has failed miserably to deal with a global pandemic, how it is struggling to manage the worst economic crisis in a hundred years, how it has done little to end police brutality in America, how Trump's own words have only fueled civil unrest. When one considers the sheer scale of these events, when one considers uh, all that has happened under Donald Trump, Joe Biden may seem like the lesser of the two evils. If he wins, it will be because of Trump. And it's a big if right now. Obama also, Joe Biden is no I know. His current lead in opinion polls should not be mistaken for evidence that he is the best man to lead America. Yes, he's the embodiment of the stereotypical Democrat, the type that Republican voters hate. But little else. In fact, Biden is prone to the same political machismo Donald Trump has often been accused of. He has an equally mm -hmm. controversial past. Let me give you some examples. Joe Biden likes to project himself as a yep. champion of civil mm -hmm. rights and civil liberties. But when you look at his record, mm -hmm. you're left with a different impression. Biden has built a career betraying black voters. He was once what the Americans called an anti-busing crusader. Yep. Let me tell you what busing is for those who are not aware. Mm -hmm. It was a practice mandated yep. in 1971 to desegregate schools. So black students were driven to predominantly white schools in the neighborhood yep. and vice versa. 
Joe Biden did not like this. He openly fought against this practice. He was involved in an anti-busing legislation in the yep. 70s. He fought for the cause of segregationists, something that has come back to haunt him in the most divisive election in recent history. And that's not the only charge against Joe Biden. He's been accused of participating in the demonization of the black community. In a 1993 speech, Joe Biden warned of predators on the streets who were quote unquote beyond the pale and had to be taken out of society. That's an a understatement. statement that many say perpetuated harmful myths about the black community. A statement that Biden to this day justifies by That's saying a good that thing he that he supported that. Gotten things right. Well, I have a long list of other things that he hasn't got right. Joe Biden once supported the Hyde Amendment, a 1976 bill that prohibits federal funds from being used for abortion services. <clears throat> He's been called Joe Lydon. He's been accused of lying about his involvement in the civil rights Look movement. at him. Oh, so look at his hands. I Joe know. Joe Biden played a leading role in inspiring congressional support for the invasion of Iraq. And he's been accused of inappropriate behavior. At least eight women have <laughs> alleged that Biden was so Biden gross. So gross. Little girls even. personal space. He has been clicked in public, sniffing hair, rubbing noses and fondling faces, all questionable acts that have earned him the title, Creepy mm. Joe. His supporters glorify his actions by calling them 50 shades of Biden, but shady they remain. And then we come to his views on India and the Indian government. Let me read out an excerpt from Biden's vision statement where he had some advice for the Indian government. I'm quoting. In Kashmir, he Peaceful. says, the Indian government should take all necessary steps to restore rights for all the people of Kashmir. Restrictions on dissent, such as preventing right, peaceful right. protests or shutting or slowing down the internet, weaken democracy. Mm -hmm. So he's, so says the man who fought for the segregation yep. of blacks from whites. And that's not all. Biden has also been critical of India's decisions like the National Register for Citizens, NRC, and the Citizenship Amendment Act, the CAA. Hmm. Let me quote he again. say that to the neighbors to These the West. measures are inconsistent, he says, with the country's long tradition of secularism yep. and with sustaining a multi-ethnic and multi-religious democracy. If elected, Joe Biden will raise these issues again with India, says his foreign policy advisor, Antony Blinken. Does that mean Joe Biden is completely anti-India? Not really. His stance on the H-1B visa issue gives you a very different impression. Biden has repeatedly stressed that if elected, he will move swiftly to lift Trump's suspension of H-1B visas. He's also promised to adopt a more nuanced approach on Iran, though that may be a lost cause for India right now. Remember, India-Iran relations suffered because of American sanctions. Now, Biden has repeatedly urged the Trump administration to relax these sanctions for the sake of other allies. So Biden presidency may give India more space to deal with Iran. On balance, who would work better for India than Biden or Trump? The fact is that bilateral relations are guided by national interest and not personal preference. So whatever Joe Biden, the Democrat, may have said, Joe Biden, the presidential candidate, has made it clear that India will be a priority. Okay, so that there was a lot to take in there, so I'm going to try to, uh, to get you to the, the salient points. Um, Joe Biden is phony, and so any time that he tells you, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm pro-India because, you know, that will, that will help uh, America. Listen, he is not looking to your interests I any, I know, any more than he's looking to our interests. Mm. He's phony and he's a liar. Um, she mentioned early on about how he's leading in the national polls. Our Indian friends need to know. America does not elect presidents by national elections. It is 50 separate state elections, okay? So it doesn't matter what national polls say because mm -hmm. that's not how we run our elections. Mm -hmm. All of those polls also forecasted that Hillary was going to win in a landslide, and she did not. These are the same pollsters, and they use the same flawed methodology. I'm... I'm really surprised she didn't bring up the Dunkin' Donut comments. I, I am as well. Uh, Joe Biden yeah. is famous for talking about the yeah. Indian community, saying you can't go into a Dunkin' Donut unless you have a slight Indian accent. Right. 
constantly making fun of the Desi population he's here. He's stereotyping yes, yes. the Indian population he, who's he's here. He's saying that the Indians in America are like Hapu from right. The Simpsons. Right. That's what he's saying. And I want to I want to address the H one B visa issue because I know a lot of our Indian friends are upset because they don't understand why Trump has the stance he has on the H-1B visa issue. Um, think about Modi with his Made in India initiative, and Trump has Make America Great Again. Trump's primary interest is making sure Americans, our, um, that our way of life in America, that we are succeeding. Just like Modi, his main focus is making sure that Indians succeed. Now, as friendly as our countries are, how would you feel, India, if Modi said, these jobs are typically done by Indians, but we're going to give those jobs away to Americans. We want Americans to come here and take your jobs. That's what Biden wants. He wants more people coming here and not just from India. That's the problem with the H-1B visa, is that Biden wants people from every foreign nation possible coming here to take American jobs. And Trump is saying, wait a second, we've got to look to American interests first. Just like Modi does there in India, that's what Trump's trying to do here. The one thing that just strikes me odd about the democratic approach to all this with immigration is why don't we just pay people to stay at home? Like like people who want to come to America. Why don't, you know, they're so ridiculous about giving everything away to people who are coming here either legally or illegally, why not just give them money and say, stay in Ecuador, stay stay in Pakistan, stay because in the reason Morocco, is, because the reason is, they want to use the Assyrian technique and, and breed America out. Exactly. That's why they, they want to do They want to, conf remember what Barack Obama said? He wanted to fundamentally transform yes. America. And he wanted to bring the hood yeah, to you. Right. They, they don't want the American way of life. No. They don't want to make America great. They want to make America just one among many they don't really want us to be great. Well, that's what Joe Biden wants for India, too. He doesn't really want you to be great either. All right, guys. Well, that concludes a day of broadcasting. I feel like we did some good work today, okay. a lot of videos. Um, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace and much Bye, love. Bye, friends. Hello, guys. This is Kareem. I hope you're doing well. And as you know, the professor has resisted Patreon for a long time. But now is the time for Movie Community College to offer Patreon. And you may be asking, why now? Well, for several reasons. One, we want to make documentaries, and those have a cost to them. Two, we want to make short films, and those also will have a cost to them as well. Three, we're going to take legal action, all the proper precautions to do reaction videos. So if you're excited about this, and you want to get some amazing swag from Movie Community College and some awesome rewards, then definitely help support Movie Community College by checking out the Patreon link below this video. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And please check out our internet radio station, DarkSkyRadio.com. Again, that's DarkSkyRadio.com. We got great talk shows. We play some music. You will be thoroughly entertained. Peace and much love.